Hey guys, Pintola here. I'm going to show you how to use an SH file, shell script file, with Ubuntu Linux, and with a new installation of Ubuntu Linux, get all the programs that you have back and running. Um, so these are the 16 programs. I won't really name them. Google Chrome there, Tor, um, just like that. Um, bear in mind, that's nothing. You, you, that's nothing to save. Um, and then this massive thing, this is the code that will actually do it. Uh, you can see there, I'm quite zoomed out. Relax guys, you don't need to see. Relax guys, it'll be in the description of the video and on the blogger, blog page, org. is it? I can't remember. Anyways, um, I'll probably put an annotation if I decide to use a different service, but I'm probably thinking of WordPress right now. Um, so, also you'll need an, uh, now, also bear in mind the sh file is compatible with all versions of Linux, okay? Assuming, for me, that means assuming, sorry about that, 10.04 or later. I'll be using 10.04, that's why I say that. Um, so I'll be back in a bit with the installer disk. And one thing to note before you continue, do back up everything off your computer. I'd say that very sincerely as the installation of Linux does wipe your hard drive. Yeah. So just something to think about. Um, so I'll come back when I have the disk up and it will be running. Bear in mind, this is currently saved to a flash drive like that, eight gigabytes currently, currently, currently being used. Um, however, the flash drive is not needed for the installation of Ubuntu until we're done. And we're back. About maybe a second for you, one transition. For me, well, it's about a half hour later. I had some other stuff to do in the meantime. Anyway, so I've already connected to the Wi-Fi, as you can see up there. Um, now it's really just time to install. Uh, one thing though I'm going to say first is that do run gparted and delete the part, delete the part, and do all of your disk formatting ahead of time. Um, gparted is more advanced than the one included in in the uh, GPART is, is more advanced than the one in the installer, so I'm going to first turn the swap off, delete, delete the extend, and then that. Um, the reason, now you'll notice, I'm also going to create a new partition, change the file system to ext4, and just make it absolutely large. Now, you don't need a label. Um, now, if you're to do multiple installations, you can, like, of Ubuntu, you might want to differentiate between them. Um, so, here, select your language. Step one of seven. Okay, it's going to set up the clock. That's why I connect to the internet now. Um, so, I am... So, the uh, 1244, this is actually just plenty fine for me. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, my motherboard is set for GMT. Yes, it is. Anyways, um, so I'm just going to set mine for Los Angeles. Um, Ubuntu will also set your motherboard clock to GMT. Don't change it back. Um, suggested option, USA. I'm just going to stick with that. Um, I have no problems with the USA keyboard. Um, now the partition table. Erase and use the entire disk option for what we want. Um, 
Otherwise, you'll have to use the manual option if you're doing something like a dual boot. Um, or you can just use a um, one moment. Or it, or if you've already installed Windows, side by you can side just make sure that you left the partition. Oh wait, go back. Wait, I want the other complete. There we go. Um, name I'm not going to show you, but we'll enter everything else in. This will be Bentalia. Hey, uh, you know what? I'm just going to type in. And we're back. About 30 minutes later? No, 25 minutes later. And you can see the installation is complete. We're going to hit restart now. What it will do? Literally, restart now. The other option, by the way, is continue testing. Um, CD drive should pop open. Should make sense. Okay, going to shutting down from the disk. Perfect. Please remove the disk and close the tray, if any, and press enter. To be honest, hit enter and just do everything else later. So, disk drive is closed. There is my Ubuntu disk. As you can see, 10.04 created. August 24th, 2011. So now, we are running. I'm going to show away. Okay, and back. Well, you guys have seen like the last one. All right then. So now we're gonna run the update manager. Um. Okay. Two. We're gonna tell it install. All right, guys. Now we're back to this restart now menu which we are going to do. Okay. Enter the password. I've muted the volume already, so it won't give me any it won't give me the sound. Good. Wi-Fi connected. Bounce with that little notification is. I just don't really need to see the SSID. It won't matter anyways. Plug in a flash drive. Should light up on the screen. There we go. Gonna open it up and copy the auto installer. Okay, those are our Windows menus. So now into the terminal. I think I'll expand it. Now we just type in sh space. Just in case you're wondering what it looks like, sorry about that. There's the command. You need to enter sh space slash desktop. I moved it to the desktop slash auto installer dot sh. 
game, and you can see it worked because we have please run all updates and enable the pause. So we've done that already. And the password. Quick update, guys. I got everything working and fix the errors in the project. So I'll be uploading the source code with the video be published to the Tumblr account. Um, I've actually got that set up now. It is ventilia.tumblr.com, not WordPress. Just in case you were wondering. Still need to install Minecraft. Haven't gotten there yet. But yeah, follow me on Twitter at Ventalia and on Tumblr. Tumblr. No, Ventalia.tumblr.com. So, been totally here, signing off, and don't forget to subscribe if you want. It's all in the first video.